Welcome to today's vlog. Uh, I'm going to take you to Petworth House and Gardens, which is not far from here. And it's really a beautiful place to visit and it has lots of stunning artwork within there, including some works by Turner. So I thought you'd be interested in that. And then also I take you outside where I'm doing some watercolour sketches. Now, I don't usually venture outside to paint, to be honest. I have done it uh, one time when um, I went in for the Sky Landscape Artists of the Year, I think it was 2017. Um, so I thought I'd get a bit more practice in. <laughs> now working in the past, I've worked in a commercial studio, so you don't really have time for that kind of thing. Um, but now I really, I've got an urge to um, create some sketchbooks and just go out and be inspired and become looser in my painting. So I wanted to just have a go and see how I felt about it. So. Um, I'll take you along there and show you what I took to begin with. So enjoy the video, sit back and relax, get yourself a nice cup of coffee and I'll see you later.
Right, I was just going to show you what I took along on my trip. Now, I don't usually paint outdoors, so I've just decided I want to give it a go <clears throat> and to persevere and get used to painting in front of people or not, as the case may be. Anyway, I had one of these um, little tripods, which is quite good. It's got bendy legs so you can film yourself. And I managed to attach this uh, to the back of a bench, which was very handy. Now this is actually um, a picnic bag and I thought I would adapt this for my sketchbook and things. And if I get a little peckish, I can go and buy a picnic and it's got its own little chopping board, wine glasses, cutlery. Um, now I have taken the plates out at the moment, but obviously I can put those back in. So I just thought I might as well keep that in there. You never know when it could come in handy. So that's just in the front section. As you can tell the zip is very free flowing. There we go. Now I've got a little notebook in here. I thought I'd start writing down things that I'm feeling or just the atmosphere of the place when I need to do that. It's got here a section for a water bottle, which of course I can use my watercolours or whatever I'm using. And then it's got this main section. What I took with me is just some hand wipes, some kitchen towel. And then I've got this little plastic sort of wallet. And in here, I took this uh, small postcard size uh, watercolour paper. got this little watercolour set, Windsor & Newton. I didn't want to take too much stuff with me, especially as it's, it was my first time really sketching outside, um, kind of sketching watercolour painting. Um, this is just some indigo ink, acrylic ink. I also took just a few tubes of watercolour as well. A couple of brushes. I just had these two brushes with me. This larger one for washes and then this smaller one for the details. This, which is a graphite stick. You see me using that in the sketchbook at the beginning. So that's all I had in that section. Also, I started this um, this sketchbook. That's what I did on the day. And I was just testing out colours on there before I went. I didn't actually have much time in the end. <laughs> There's always something else you've got to be doing. But I guess even if it's just an hour, it's worth going and doing. And here I just um, chose a selection of different kinds of pencils to try out and again I didn't really have quite enough time to test all these out but I think that's a handy little set a mixture to take next time. I also had this little tiny palette for the watercolour tubes and then lastly I just took a few sort of natural colours of oil pastels so that is my my first very basic little kit, but it's plenty to keep. Just have a go and see how I feel about it.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that vlog and seeing the wonderful Petworth house and also a bit of the scenery nearby. Um, if you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe and like the video and also share them with friends and family who you think might be interested. Just to let you know also, I do have a Skillshare class if you're interested in learning how to paint with acrylic paints. You can find the links in the description. So till next time, it's goodbye from us.